Peter Appleyard and his vibraphone have been a part of Canadian jazz and of my own life as long as I've been of legal drinking age. Maybe even longer if it's all right, if it's all right to squeal a bit on the park plaza now. He is a giant of Canadian and international music and he is with us at the Red Barn tonight with people I will let Peter introduce himself if he gets a moment. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to do this a long time. Peter Appleyard.
I'd like to introduce these marvelous artists to you right now. On bass, a gentleman who's worked with me on and off for quite a number of years, and uh, I think he's one of the best around. Mr. Bob Price is right here. Currently, the guitarist with the Oscar Peterson Trio, Mr. Lauren Lofsky. I'd also like to thank Peter for inviting us. Uh, it's a great pleasure and a great honor to be here this evening. And uh, I'd certainly like to thank the guys because uh, they were very busy in the city and they came up and played for us, and so I think they really deserve a great. Big Anyone in the house know the title of that last song that we played? <laughs> Somebody's bound to. I mean, there's, some, there's people out there old enough, I think, to remember that song. It's Satin of course, yeah. I must tell you this story. Every time I play it, I can't help but uh, think about this story. I was working in New York some years ago, and one night, uh, Johnny Carson came in with Gloria Haven, a movie star from the 50s and 60s. She was a lovely young lady. And they were dancing. It was a little dance floor. And so we were playing Sat and Dog, you see. So we finished, and he took her back to the table. And he came back to the bandstand, and he said, uh, Peter, what was the title of that last song you played? I said, Sat and Dog. He said, you sure? I said, of course I'm sure. He said, it wasn't Hot Toddy. I said, no, it was Sat and Dog, not Hot Toddy, Sat and Dog, Duke Ellington. Good, he said, you just won me a hundred bucks from Glory to Haven. <laughs> She told me it was hot tardy. Will you come down and tell her what we just planned? I said, sure. So I went down and he introduced me to her and uh, he said, tell Gloria what you just played. I said, hot tardy. <laughs> <laughs> but it paid off because the next morning I got a call from the, the Carson show and I did the show that week. <laughs> but then it's still a month later I got a call from Gloria to Haven and I went on the road with her for a year, and it was a lot more fun. Than that. <laughs> we love to play all night long for you, but there's a lot of wonderful talent coming up, and so we've chosen this number, which will give us all a chance to stretch out. I recorded this some time ago with Benny Goodman in the 70s, and it's been one of my sort of party pieces. It's George Gershwin is fascinating with them.
Thank you.